Okay. This is probably the biggest fail of a video I have ever made. And it's sponsored. <laughs> First, we have to go back to 2008. LucasArts released the very first Star Wars game that was supposed to be canon within the universe, branching and connecting together the first two movie trilogies and giving players the experience of finally entering and playing a full Star Wars movie in a way like never before. Now, in 2022, that game has finally launched on Nintendo Switch, and I was asked to make a video about it. And I said, yes, if I can do whatever I want with the video. And the developers that are porting this game over to the Switch said, fine, do whatever you want. I decided I would make a full Star Wars mini movie that is canon within the Star Wars universe and tied into me playing this game. The idea was great. I fully scripted, storyboard, and planned a full day shoot. I even bought two replica lightsabers and two outfits, a Jedi outfit and a Sith outfit. I was gonna play both characters. <laughs> I even bought a Yoda outfit for my cat. It was going to be so good. But then a lot of things ended up going wrong. And the first one was this. I got very sick. <coughs> I'm honestly so sick. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this video. Now, even though I was a complete wreck, uh, and it, it delayed essentially the shoot and everything I had planned, when I finally got over my fever and started feeling better, I did manage to get a couple of things shot. Um, and I want to show you that, but it didn't, it didn't go as planned. Uh, initially because of this, All this breathing is making me super lightheaded. I, I almost passed out then. I, I, just give me a second. Okay. But I'm going to get to the horrific experience that was trying to shoot a mini movie post COVID in 90 degree Texas weather dressed fully in robes in a hot silo, an abandoned silo that we found on the side of the road. Before we get to that though, I should probably actually talk a little bit about the game um, because this is still a sponsored video. Your training is nearly complete. It is time to face your first true test. Star Wars The Force Unleashed is available right now on the Nintendo Switch Store. There's a link in the description if you want to support this train wreck of a video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the one good thing about being sick was when I was, all I could do is sit and veg out and play the game. So I sat down and I played through the entire thing and had a ton of fun. But even that wasn't held up by a little bit of miscommunication on my part. When I was 18 playing this game for the very first time, I remember it looking amazing like a full Star Wars movie come to life. And I was excited to once again experience this game and everything that made me fall in love with the character that is Starkiller. Uh, 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 but... So I've been playing this game for a couple hours now and it... <laughs> Immediately as I started, I was like, something is amiss. I feel like I didn't remember it being like this. And I know nostalgia glasses can be a pain in the butt sometimes when you go back and play an old game and you're like, whoa, this has aged so much, but I don't think my brain misremembered it this much. I looked up on my phone gameplay and sure enough, it looked completely different. And like, that's, th this is what I remember, like what I'm seeing on my phone right now. And that's when I realized this is the Wii version. <laughs> yeah, so for those that might be too young to remember, 
this is bananas. It's still crazy to me, but a lot of my favorite games and a lot of games used to do this thing where on a certain console or PC, it was a completely different game. Like they would develop different versions of the same game and Star Wars Force Unleashed was one of the last games to do this. But the wonderful people at Aspir, which who are sponsoring this video by the way took the insane amount of effort and time to port the wii version to the switch i say they took the time and effort to port the wii version because it has motion controls i i was a little confused i was like why all these years later would you port the wii version when you have that version but when i was looking up like the footage online on youtube under the wii version every like all the comments were saying this was was the best version of the game. Out of all the versions, they enjoyed the Wii one the most, and that's the one they go back and they replay time after time because it's just the most fun to play, mostly because of how good the motion controls were. I'm not a big motion control guy, so I was even hesitant to start playing with them, but sure enough, as soon as I started, I never went back. So here's how it works. The right hand does the sword swinging, and I was actually instantly impressed with the fact of how responsive it is. If I swing left, he swings left, right is right. I mean, you get the picture. Even up and down do specific up and down moves. Then I can even throw the lightsaber. That's actually pretty sick. So instantly I started having way more fun. The left hand controls lightning and also the force power. So if I want to like, throw things around the room. I can do that too. Obviously, maybe now with things like VR, we have similar experiences, but I could imagine going back in the day to 2008 and being able to just force push things around and pick them up and throw them, throwing my lightsaber all with the motion controls. So yeah, since I figured out how good these motion controls are, I really have not gone back to uh, playing with a pro controller, because why would I? So yeah, the game wasn't the game I expected it to be, but I got to experience a game that I loved back in the day in a different way. Weird, hilarious animations and all. But later, reassigned to a top secret project. Is there a psychological profile in there too? Actually, yes. Okay, but let's backtrack a little bit because I, I still want to show you the very small amount that I got done because there was one thing that we did that was really cool. So to get to that, I got to show you the thing we did that wasn't. I, I never even got to film anything as the Sith apprentice. And I, I still haven't opened. I want to at least wear this outfit one time. I bought it. I could return it, but whatever. Okay, honestly, it's pretty sick. I know you can't really see the whole. <laughs> it's even got a hood. Okay, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Th these lightsabers are really cool, by the way. And that's another thing. I'm not kidding. I put in so much effort into this. I even downloaded a program and learned how to do a lightsaber effect, and it looked sick. I tested it with a broomstick before I went out and shot everything. But by far the thing that took the most amount of time was I learned how to do the obi Annie lightsaber trick. I spent three hours learning how to do this to the point where my hand is still bruised and blistered and I can barely move my thumb because it's actually extremely painful learning how to do these tricks. But I wanted to do something cool for the video. I want to say that I was really proud of how I worked everything they wanted me to talk about the game into the script. Like there's a battle mode where you can duel a player with a local multiplayer co-op. The duel mode, by the way, is sick. And yeah, I was going to have the Sith Apprentice use Red Joy cons because of a I thought out everything you have all of these characters Obi-Wan Anakin Qui-Gon like there's so many Luke Skywalker so you can do Luke Skywalker versus Darth Maul if you want to have that epic matchup that never actually happened you can pick one of the many locations the game has to offer like the Wookiee homeworld or the 
floral planet of Felucia. Of course, Tatooine is always a favorite. Raxus Prime, the junkyard. You ever seen Luke Skywalker versus Darth Maul on Tatooine? Well, you're about to. So this mode was, again, specific to the Wii version. In fact, the Wii version had extra levels that was specific to its version. It has more content than all the other versions. But yeah, I just love the idea of this mode and the fact that they kept it in and they ported it over as well from the Wii version. All right, let me show you what was supposed to start this whole video uh, with the intro skit. What we did manage to shoot, it wasn't all of it. I wanted to, it wasn't supposed to be this bad. Also, turned out that the audio recording, because I was mic'd up, because the audio is so echoey in the silo we were shooting in, we had to use the mic audio, but the mic audio, it, everything was cursed. This is what it sounded like when I got into editing. It's a bunch of static. I don't know what happened. Oh, yeah, and my... Oh, no. My character in the start was supposed to be talking to my Yoda, my master, which was going to be my cat dressed as Yoda. I haven't even used that. Let's... Let's do that. I want to see if I can get that Yoda outfit on Simon. It just for fun. This is what the full Sith outfit looks like, by the way. I don't know if I can hit you with the Obi Annie here. I'll probably break, so I try. Go ahead. Which way was it? Like that? Forward. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna break something. Did it look cool for a second? Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna stop. I okay. can, I can do it faster, but I ain't gonna. Hey, Simi, you want this? I don't know. Is it for me? This is not going to go well, I don't think. I don't think Logan would stand for this at all. Yeah, Simi's more game to put on an outfit. It has a little lightsaber. Oh, good grief. Looks like a popsicle. He bought him clothes. Simi. Don't do it like... I, I know, I know. <laughs> Simi. I thought if I could just like be quick. You thought you could just get him to run into the sleeves. Yeah, you? I was no. Like, well, there's no sleeves per se. Do you want me to put them on him? You if think? You want, yeah, if you want to hold the camera. <laughs> oh, Simi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yoda, where are you going? Baby cook. <laughs> oh, no. He shook the hat right off. Did you buy like a, a large dog Well, believe costume? it or not, they don't make them for cats, but I well, got the I smallest know, one I could. Yeah. Oh, look at the Groku. He's still swimming. The force is with you. He's having a nice time. I know, he He's likes it. He's just very confused. It just doesn't fit him. Yeah. He just by default doesn't want this stuff on him. He just shakes it off. He's like, if I don't want this, I'll just leave. My plan was to get him in that outfit and on green screen, to green screen him you into the You thought you were going to get him to... Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Now that all the elements and the parts are in place, this is the terrible skit that we shot that isn't finished that was supposed to be part of the beat-em-ups Star Wars movie. I train. And I train. And I continue to train day after day. I don't feel like I'm getting any stronger. I don't feel like I'm strong enough to face him. Strong enough you may not think you are, but ready you will be. You keep saying that and I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. For oh. now, concentrate on your virtual training, you must. Yeah, I know. You want me to play a silly video game? I don't see how a video game is gonna help me train to be the Sith Apprentice. <sighs> So be it. <laughs> That's the story of this video and why it failed so badly. But I ended up having such a fun time playing the game even though I was sick. I didn't want to cancel on the video. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't want, I'm still a little sick. I didn't want to cancel on the video. I didn't want to cancel on the developers, which were, who were excited to see, because I was like, I'm going to make a whole movie. And they were like, oh, cool. I didn't want to just scrap everything. And I also had this one really cool shot I at least wanted to use for something. 
if you played this game on Wii and you loved it and you want to go down nostalgia lane, or you played one of the other versions and you want to see what the Wii version was like, or you've just never played the game before, let me tell you, it's a ton of fun to play. It's on the eShop right now. You can grab it. And it's a really interesting concept of what would happen if Darth Vader had a apprentice. So uh, link down below, check it out. And it would also help support the channel a lot. And you get to play a fun game. So thank you to the developers for allowing me to do whatever I want. And that whatever I want being me talking about what I wanted to do. You did a great job porting the game though. It's beautiful. Thank you guys for watching.